Hi, it's Elizabeth and welcome to the Hudson's House. Math Mammoth is mastery based, which means it concentrates on a few major topics at a time in order to study them in depth. Math Mammoth 4 or Level 4 comprises a complete math curriculum for the 4th grade mathematics studies. We use the light blue series. There are two work texts, work text A and B. Each workbook has four big topics. 4A consists of addition, subtraction, patterns and graphs, large number, multi-digit multiplication, time and measuring. So there are four chapters here. And also 4B has four chapters. It consists of division, geometry, fractions, and decimals. The two books, Part A and B, are like a framework, but you still have a lot of liberty in planning your child's studies. Maria suggested that this could be used as a spiral curriculum, but we never use this as a spiral. We, we follow. We do this as a mastery base. We do it by chapter. But the author, Maria, suggested that you can also use this as a spiral curriculum. It's totally up to your student. Some students will not do well with spiral. My children thrive in the mastery base approach. So this is going to be our fourth year of using Math Mammoth and my children enjoyed it we are already familiar how to use it so we will just keep on using it and my children love it anyways so yeah this is our fourth year of using math mammoth also the author maria suggested that you don't have to do every problem in the book you have to use your judgment if your child needs more practice or, or if you see that your child is good on that certain topic, you can skip some, of course. So it's really up to you. You use your judgment. If you are going to buy the workbooks for your child or children, you can also buy this separately, the tests and cumulative reviews. There's a chapter test and a cumulative review. You can also buy the answer keys. You can also access an online games using the QR code. If you have a phone, I'm sure you have a smartphone. You just scan this QR code and it will take you to different games for your child. Uh, it's related to the lesson. So every chapter, there's a QR code that you can scan. My children don't use it all the time, but there are lots of fun games that is related to the topic. So this is the 4A work text. As I mentioned earlier, it has four topics or chapters. Chapter one is addition, subtraction, patterns, and graphs. Chapter two, large numbers and place value. Chapter 3, multi-digit multiplication. And then chapter 4, time and measuring. A note from the author. Keep in mind that the specific lessons in the chapter can take several days to finish. They are not daily lessons. Instead, use the general guideline that 4th graders should finish about two pages daily or 9 to 11 pages a week. Also, she recommend not assigning all the exercises by default, but that you use your own judgment. Math Mammoth curriculum is not as colorful as other math curriculums that you see out there, but this one is solid. Math 
mammoth is super strong in number sense and mental math. Exercises here are written in two ways, horizontal for mental math and vertical for procedural fluency. And it's important to have both skills. This is the 4B work text. As I mentioned earlier, that this has four big topics or four chapters. Chapter 5 is division. Chapter 6 is geometry. Chapter 7, fractions. And chapter 8 is decimals. This is an example of what I mentioned earlier, helpful resources on the internet. So you scan this using your smartphone and it will take you to this site. These are online games that are related to the topic. excited for my eight-year-old he'll be learning division so before the chapter ends there is a mixed review of that chapter and after that there will there will be a review for that chapter and after that is that test and then you will start a new chapter. I know some homeschoolers are still doing their homeschool shopping right now. And I hope this video is helpful and you can find some resources. And thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!